Chapter Six of American History Stories, Volume Two. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. American History Stories, Volume Two, by Mara L. Pratt. Chapter Six: A Brave Little Girl. While General Gage held the town of Boston, our people were nearly starved because of the number of British soldiers that must be fed. Accordingly, men were sent into the surrounding villages to obtain help. Parson White, of the little town of Wyndham, urged his people to give all they could, and his little daughter, catching the spirit of loyalty, wondered how she could help the suffering Bostonians. Soon after, the villagers prepared to send Frederick Manning to the town with sheep and cattle and a load of wheat. The little girl thought of her pet lamb. Could she, ought she, to part with it? Running to her father, she eagerly asked his advice. But the parson, smiling kindly, said, No, dear, it is not necessary that your little heart be tried by this bitter strife, and bade her run away and be happy. But the thought would not leave her. There in Boston were little girls, no older than herself, crying for food and clothing. She must give all she could to help them. At last the day came on which the cattle and supplies of help were to be driven to town. Choking down her sobs, the little martyr untied her pet from the old apple tree, and crossing the fields, waited for Manning, the driver at the crossroads. Please, sir, she said, her lip quivering, and the tears rolling down her cheeks. I want to do something for the poor starving people in Boston. I want to do my part, but I have nothing but this one little lamb. Please, sir, take it to Boston with you. But couldn't you carry it in your arms a part of the way? Cause it, it, it is so little, sir. Then bursting into tears and throwing her apron over her eyes, as if to shut out the sight of her dear little pet, she ran towards her home. Poor, brave little girl! I hope when she told her mamma and papa what she had done, that they took their little girl up in their arms and kissed her many, many times, and told her what a dear, brave little girl she had been. I suspect the tears were in their eyes too when she told them, and I have always wished the good parson had sent a fleet messenger to overtake the driver and bring back the little lamb to its loving owner. For I think it took more real courage to give up that one pet lamb than it did for the Boston boys to go before General Gage when the soldiers had spoiled their fort. End of chapter six.